Wanda, the creep broke up with you over your answer. I just want to know why he broke up. He doesn't like you. Thanks, Stacy. You should have gone blonder. He's here. Oh yeah. Hi. You got my message, right? Yeah, I did, Robbie. I just wanted to. Wanted to what? You asked me about breaking up? No, I just want to know why. What did I do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong, Wanda. I thought you really liked me. You said I was special. So naturally, I want to know why. Wanda, I never want to go anywhere. I do so. I know. Two blocks to the beach. You didn't want to go on the camping trip to the Grand Canyon, or rock climbing in Yosemite, or to the Fourth of July party in Ensenada. Get car sick. Told you I'd fly you there. I'm scared of flying, you know that. You're scared of everything. Okay. What else is wrong with me? Look, what's the point? You obviously have a serious problem. You wasted the whole summer because of it. There's only two weeks left in August, and I want to salvage something. All right? Robbie, please Let's talk about it. I can change. I want to change. Just tell me what you don't like about me. I won't change, Wanda. Please, Robbie, give me a chance. What don't you like about me, and I'll change. All right, your glasses make you look stupid, your hair is ugly, you dress like a nerd, you walk like a clod, and your voice gives me a headache. Is that enough? How come you never told me this before? Huh? Why'd you even go out with me in the first place if I'm such a geek? Look, Wanda, I'm really sorry I hurt you. I didn't mean to. But you are who you are, and we're just not right for each other. Rejection is really getting to me. I mean, it seems ever since I was a kid I've been rejected. Hey! Even my own dad, he left me. He's an explorer, Wanda. It's his job to travel and not be home. For ten years? Well, so he's been real busy. And what about my mom? She's left. She got hit by a car and died, Wanda. She didn't have a choice. Sorry. Oh, you're right. She didn't have a choice. But my dad did. Where's Wanda? No one wants me for anything. I want you, honey. I want you to get your butt out of this car and come give me a hand. I'm dying here.
Panda Sack Newsom? Ew. I can't believe it. I bet it's my brother-in-law. You're Wanda Sack Newsom? On the counter and tell her to get a butt out here. I'll need those four shakes. I ordered a cheeseburger. I ordered a cheeseburger. Three burgers. Oh, oh excuse me. Wanda Sack Newsom? Uh, yeah. Sick, Special delivery from Africa. Would you like to sign here, please? There we go. Right. That's great. Thanks very much. Right. business partner. He owns a bar somewhere in Zamboanga, North Africa. Mr. Mahoney wants me to come see him. He can send a plane ticket. Why? I guess Dad's made a will he wants me to deal with. You're not gonna go, are you, honey? I should probably go, Annie Pearl. I mean... Mr. Mahoney thinks it's important enough to send me a plane ticket. And I would like to see where Dad lived. I've always been curious about his life. Honey, going to Zimbabwe ain't like going to the beach. It's a long journey and you never know what might happen. I've been looking for something to change my life. Maybe this is it. I 
kid me, Mr. Mahoney. Probably the only chance I'll have to get to know him. He left so long ago. Did you try to find my dad? I, I tried. We keep the pit lit. I go down there every day, look for him. But it all seems so unlikely. I would have given anything to see him again. of colonizing. The Atlanteans' giant spaceship served as their floating city. It sank into the bowels of the earth during a volcanic catastrophe, destroying the spaceship. But perhaps not the Atlantean people. They might still live.
How do you climb jumpers ever find this wall? You'll never be out of our eyes again! Oh, no, I, no, 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 It won't be easy trying to steal my claim. Because you're going to have to plug me first. <laughs> Looks easy to me. <laughs> One yank of the trigger and you die. I gotta do something. You can tell us where the vein is. Tell us where the main vein is. No. Tell us. No.
realized I was alive and I was okay, so I started you moving around. And it was really scary. I mean, I didn't know if I'd ever see people again. But then I stumbled onto you and those two other guys, and then I saved your life. Does that clear it up for you? Yeah, sure. Come from a service world place called LA, and you're here in Atlantis looking for your dad. Sister, you're crazy. You think I'm lying? I think you believe it. I can't believe you think I'd actually make up a story like that. You live whatever dream you want. None of my business. I gotta file my claim is still open. Wait here. Okay. Wait. What? I don't even know your name. Good in that way. Wait. What? I want to submit some. Okay. So what? Chris. Put to rest rumors of a captured alien. Lord Over, speaking through his representative spokesman, denied all gossip. In other news today, many babies were suddenly born in Z Sector. Remember, citizens, any suspicious visitors to Atlanta should be reported to Government House. Failure to incriminate is punishable by death. Thank you for your assistance. Witch. Extra, extra, extra. Alien captured. 
government denies the truth. Alien? What alien? No one believes what's printed in that paper. Fill it with stories about aliens every day. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Like little green Martians from outer space that landed. Aliens where? Outer space. What's that? <gasps> Right up I mean, there. not to have yeah, seen blue right. skies, the sun, the stars, and not to the beach. Lay off the surface world stuff. Why does everyone wear funny makeup and weird clothes? Would you come on? Malibu Beach? AJ, pay attention here. This is really creepy. So your girlfriend owns this place? Well, look who's here. How you doing, Roars? How do I look like I'm doing? Struck it rich, Roris. That's why I'm back. Yeah, like always. This guy split without paying his bill. Left his clothes behind. Looks to me like you could use him. Talk with sources who claim to have seen you purchase the alien from a minor troll named Mars Bodine. How can there be witnesses to something that has never happened? What have you done? Troll named Mars Bodine on council. Has he been flushed? I don't know any troll miner named Mars Bodine. I do not associate myself with trolls. What are you covering up, Constance? We have our sources. Then name them, Donaldson. You're changing the subject, Constance. Look, I'd like to assure everyone that, contrary to any rumors and gossip that may be circulating, we have not captured any alien beings from a purported surface world. There is simply not a grain of truth to the rumors. And that is all I'm prepared to say. Excuse me, I have a dinner engagement. Lying sack of crap. something to wear. Looked to me like you needed it. Whoa. Bitchin'. That's really nice of you. Couldn't stand wearing that dress another minute. Your dress is strange. I've never seen material like this before. What is it? It's new? Where are you from? Uh, from out of town. It's 
dangerous for strangers in Atlantis these days. People get kidnapped. No one ever hears of them again. You should be careful. You're the type that would attract a lot of attention. Be careful. Thanks, Royce. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. You are an alien spy sent down by your world to prepare an invasion of Atlantis. There are three absolutes, Professor. I am the law here in Atlantis. You will confess the truth to me, and our worlds will go to war. I beg you to believe. You will confess, Professor. Look, uh... Wait outside. I need the Ectorors. Some condensation can be expected. The temperature is the same. The other guy looked a lot better in his own clothes. Yeah. I feel like a worm broker. It's dangerous for strangers in Atlantis these days. People get kidnapped. No one ever knows. The little snip off the top. Hold still. Sorry about running out on our wedding. But I heard that old minor John about the ore he found. And I lost my head. Ah, oh, forget it. What's a year with no word? I know I hurt you. No, you don't. Listen, I gotta wait until tomorrow to file my claim. So I figure I'll help you look for your dad. Gee, thanks, Gus. I'm only doing it so as I can get rid of you. You're a pain in the neck and you're cramping my style. Come on, let's get something to eat. You aliens eat, don't you? Good, I'm starving. What is that for? Just swallow. Don't you? I gotta figure out a way to find you, Dad, and get you out. Yeah. Sit down. Bet you you've never been to a place like this before. Mm -hmm. Take your order now. How special. What do you want? Uh, make it two. Coming right down. Ideas on how to find my dad?
like the number for uh, Professor Ovid Galvin, please. I can take you to your dad. Come with me. They're looking for me, Dad. Well, do you have a last known address? Overheard her talking, Mambino. She claims to be an. Speak, Shank. Who did the girl claim to be? An alien? <laughs> There's no such thing. Okay. I'll take her bones elsewhere. I never said I wasn't interested. I could always use another dark girl with big bones. She'll cost you 500 shiny ones. Pay her 400 shiny ones. 400 shiny ones. Don't push your luck, Jack. <laughs> Seven hundred and fifty dollar ones. I'll tell you where she's hiding, Council. General Rykoff. Yes. Hello, Crisis. You want us to arrest another alien? Looking for a girl with big bones. Bam! 
Showing some spunk. Big confidence from an alien who walks like a troll, dresses like a worm, and has a voice that gives everyone a headache. I like a voice, Mambino. Edwin. Gus! I thought you was dead. Oh, I'm back. Get lost, Edway. He never did anything for anyone. Too selfish to be a hero. Yeah. Go on, move. Before I make you wish you stayed dead. Go.
got an idea. If Shank fails us, I think I know how to find one to seduce him. Lotto. Lotto, General. Lotto. Attention, attention. There is a fugitive in your area. Do not move into the police camp. right? What about all those times I gave you valuable junk for free? Because you was tapped out. Those favors were minute, insignificant, and microscopic. Oh, come on, Professor. Give us a break. What about the time I came and bailed you out when your water wagon got repossessed? Okay, good thing you were more than a friend. Let's not get slushy here. Man, you ain't the fiber out. What do you want? You was kicked out of the university for yapping about there being a surface world, right? Aliens and stuff. Yes. Yes. Well, Professor, how'd you like to meet an alien? Oh, snap. Of course, it's very late, it's from Lumeria. Look, it almost fits. <laughs> but of course, on you, it looks absolutely smashing. Will there be anything else? I know. Oh, ah, all right. Well, uh, Rusty Dull wants all charge. This is with my Walkman and my
cute back there, sweetheart. What was that Go ahead. Scream all you want. Brick bottle, take it. Let me hear it. Nothing to nobody. Speaking of worth nothing. <laughs> Great. You shouldn't wrinkle my suit, Slick. You're kind of big bone for a troll, aren't you? I'm not really a troll. <laughs> yeah, right. Neither am I. Who are you? I'm charming, as in style, good looks, and panache. Look. You want me to sweep you off your feet? Love you till I die, but I ain't got the time right now. I'm on my way to rob, you know, borrow some funds. And that gweep back there has made me late. But I. Look, I know it's disappointing, but uh, there'll be another time, another place. Wait! What? Some people are after me. Could you please help me out? I know it's a lot to ask. I told you, I'm busy. Please. I'm really in trouble. Bad trouble. It's only because I'm a sucker for big bone dolls and trouble now. Tell me your problems and I'll decide if I've got the time. Well, it kind of started when I was 10 years Wait old. A second. What? Is that really your voice? Come on. My brother was about to kill me and then you showed up to save my life, Thomas. Crazy, that's, that's an unbelievable story. What, the part about me being an alien from the surface world? No, that you've gone through all this for a guy like your father. I mean, he seems like a selfish pebble here. He didn't care about anybody except himself. I used to think so. Oh, and now you like him. I think I understand him a little. Crazy. You know, it's still a lot to go through for someone who may not want to see you. It's crazy. You're a very unusual girl, Wanda. I mean more than because your voice is so strange. Come on, the saloon's this way. I don't know if you're an alien or what, 
But I do believe you're here to find your father. Hey! For whatever reason, the city's out to get you, so you, you gotta get out of here before it's too late for even me to save you. Oh, you get going. I'll hold him off. It'll be easier with you gone. You might have to do something I don't want you to see. What, Charmin? Never mind. Roach's saloon is nearby. Just up that alley. Hide there and I'll, I'll meet you if I can. Will I ever see you again? You never know, Wanda. Crazy. Another time, another place. Now go on, get out of here. Bye, Charmin. Another time, another place. Wait, wait, I'm gonna be sick. surface world really exists. We gotta figure out a way to rescue Wanda first. What do you have in mind, Cooper? Professor, I know you've never done this kind of thing before. But are you up to it? What do you want me to do? Bring me the aliens. I'll first speak to Wanda. 
then decide whether to free them or terminate. Your Lordship, this is the one. Come here, child. Come closer. So you are the Wanda. Yes? I'm Wanda Sigmusa. Why are you here? Rykov has arrested your daughter, Professor Saknusum, and put her on trial. What's going to happen to her? Lord Ova is trying to decide whether to release you and your daughter, or to terminate your lives. Uh, how does it look? Uh, in there. Oh, everything depends on wonder. I'm not explorer or adventurer, and I'm not here to hurt your world. I just want to find my dad, and that's why I'm here. And for no other reason, sir. Oh, please. I'm Wanda Sack Newsom, a waitress from L.A. who should have never come here. And I just really want to go home now. Hey! <coughs> they are going to make brown eyed trolls out of us! Oh, shut up, Rykov. Daddy? I wanna. So you're Wanda's dad? Yes, I am. Well, she's gone through a lot of trouble to find you. Stay for a while, wreck us our way out. Why did you come looking for me, Wanda? Because you're my dad. And then I'll come back for you. Unbelievable good and you've actually made it! <laughs> Who is he? My dad? Get in, Wanda! General, the aliens are approaching the outskirts of the city. Dad exit 58. Intercept dead 5.34. Driver, head for the outskirts of the city. The general's vehicle has turned for the outskirts. 
Oscar, sir. Follow the general. Just don't lose her. Professor Sagnutum, I have to disagree with you. According to my data, the incline of the surface world has changed slightly, making the eastern regions the mouth of the center of the world. I don't doubt your knowledge, Professor, but I've spent my life studying and searching for the center of the Earth, and I obviously did find it, and it wasn't in this direction. Well, let me put it to you this way. I have all the equipment you need for your ascension to the surface of the world. It's either my way or no way. Professor Gobbler can get us back home? We'll see, honey. Then it's straight on ahead, good, and, and don't scratch my worm wagon. To my calculations, my rock climber would have blasted me right up to the surface. My God, why didn't you go? Ah, Rykov learned of my work and he shut me down. I was ruined and tossed out of the university. Oh. <laughs> I was thrown out of the university too, but I wouldn't let that stop me. Yes, yes. Some of us give up our dreams more easily than others, Professor. There's a difference, Professor, between giving up and leaving something unfinished. You know, I never finished anything in my life. It's about time I did. I want to go back to Lawrence. If she'll take me. She'll make you richer than any mine, Gus. going anywhere. You blew the deal when you tried to escape. Now we have orders to execute you. I thought you wanted us to leave. I'm sorry, Professor. <laughs> you saw nothing. Take the gem away. You better move out quickly, Professor. I think she's going to be a little upset when she wakes up. Won't you get into trouble for this? It's a small price to pay. Now move quickly. Hold on tight to one another. I love you, honey. Wanda? Wanda? You okay? Well, any pearl. I had this really weird dream that I went to Africa and fell down a bottomless pit to the center of the earth and I ended up in this city called Atlantis. I found 
they had it. Pretty weird, huh? Hi, honey. How are you? Oh, Daddy. It wasn't a dream. Dream come true, honey. True about Wanda, I heard she went to Africa. Actually took a plane and everything. Yeah, she actually took a plane and everything. Ah, I can't believe it. Nobody in Vista Verde can believe it, including me, including Susan, Susan Stacy. <laughs> Why not? It's just not like her. Are you sure this isn't some scam to get me back? Why don't you ask yourself? tonight and take you out and you can tell me all about Africa. But Robbie, I still have the same hair, the same voice. Ah, it doesn't matter. You changed. Yeah, I have. Mm. What happened to her in Africa? She grew up. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me out. I'm a stranger around here. Another time, another place. Crazy. Wanda Sacknussum is a mere figment of your imagination.